which is ancient period he before all praises to Yahweh, the Heavenly Father's only name, which can be only uttered in Hebrew to all the world, what we call child Jehovah, etc. In the name of Yahweh Shai, who the word is going to cause Jesus or, or Yeshua, etc., which whose name also can only be uttered in Hebrew, in the Holy Spirit, which is a Rakak Badash, in the wisdom and understanding of these holy scriptures, the Holy Bible. The Bahamas and the Apostles and Elders of Great and Stone and Salutation to the Saints of Akim. Hajra for a thousand men, one third men, 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 women, and children are to be saved. I want to go into a lesson where by um, you know, for, for all of you know, to keep in mind for the new hole in this thing. You know that. Um, whatever we go through, not a good or bad, we should always turn to the scriptures. Right? And this lesson was inspired by, um, you know, the, the the classes uh, that we had yesterday, you know, showing that there is a scripture for everything, and that's why the scripture says, "Wisdom and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of all times." All right, and that's that's a heavy scripture. That's, that's a milk scripture, and it's heavy. It's foundation, you know, because um, the deeper we get into the scriptures, the more we understand that. Like, how much we need it to cope with everyday life, you know, to cope with everyday life. All right, so, so if if we stumble, we should always turn to scriptures. Don't shrug it off, or just say a prayer. We'll always seek a scripture to help us to do the right thing. You know, and always seek the scripture to help us to get back on track. All right. So let's get into it. Going out the spirit of this, um, you know, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying, right? It says, Sirach chapter 2, verse 3. It says, Cleave unto him. It's locked. Let me start from 1. My son, if thou come to serve me, how will prepare thy soul for temptation? All right? Now prepare, prepare your spirit, prepare your, your, um, your character for temptation, for trials, you know, for testings. Set thy heart and right and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. Set thy heart, Hebrew love, which means mind. Set thy mind aright and constantly endure. Make not haste in the time of trouble. Alright? It says, Cleave unto him and depart not. We cleave unto him and depart not to we that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Cleave unto him. And I'm going to go through some scriptures how we how we cleave unto how Bashim Yosha and depart not the way that thou means be increased at thy last end. It's lucky. Can we go into the hour of temptation? You know what I mean? Or not only the hour, it's lucky, not only the hour of temptation, but the end of the trial that you're going through because um, you know, as Yahweh Shai was tempted in wilderness, you know. Temptation comes for a season, doesn't come all the time. This, 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 that's what the scripture says in Ecclesiastes 3 there's a time for everything, a time to mourn, and a time to rejoice. Alright? In verse 4, it says, Whatever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. Alright? Be patient. And what should you be doing while you patiently wait? Alright? You should be reading the scriptures, seeking, seeking, um, situation whereby um whereby whatever you're going through whether it is you know not fasting enough or not praying enough or uh, you know dealing with a boss man that is not that is not um with a boss man that is not you know you know not, not, a, not a man of the man not a man of the hour or dealing with them family or dealing with a woman or dealing with uh, even preaching on the streets or whatever. Having a struggle, having a struggle, you know, read the scriptures and study it. Seek seek scriptures whereby you know where you whereby you can be comforted and see different scenarios, see the pros and cons, see what happened to someone who does and what happened to someone who did. Right? 
did do what the scripture says, who didn't do what the scripture says, right? Because that's basically what it is, right? And um, it says, for gold is tried in fire and not set in men in furnace and adversity. Adversity, you know? So let's get that meaning in the word, right? Adversity. Says uncomfortable. So now says of adverse conditions, state of misfortune or calamity, an event that is diver adverse calamity. Let me see here. It says of a French adverse adversite, adversite, from Latin adversite, adversitatum, tatum. I don't know. Gives the singular of adversitas from. Adverse, the perfect passive practice of virtue. I turn to word. Okay. Let's see. Adverse. Unfavorable. Antagonistic. Right? In purpose or effect, hostile, actively opposing one's interest or wishes. Beautiful. Contrary to one's welfare, acting against, working in, in, in an opposing direction. Right? So, accepted men in the furnace of adversity. So, you're going to be tried, right? And the only way you're going to overcome is by these scriptures, right? It says, Believe in him, he will help thee, order thy way to right, and trust in him. Trusting how much you know, shine, whether you trust in him or seeking it in his word, right? All right, so let's get into it. Let's go to uh, Matthew 4 and 4, and it's a classic. It's lucky, it's lucky, just just ate it a while ago, so. Kind of way they say it's like a king. Yeah, this is Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahweh. So we cannot live by the food alone, but we must live by the word of Yahweh. Right? So another one in Acts. Let's go to Acts. Acts chapter 5. Acts 5. Verse 20. It says, Go stand and go stand and speak in the temple to the people all the words of this life. So that's what the apostles were doing. They were speaking all the words of this life. All the words that pertain to this life, right? Um, let's double check this one here. All right. Stop. Let's do it again. Yeah, I'm just going to bring this out for a point. This is a uh, second Peter. Chapter 1, verse 20. It says, Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scriptures of any private interpretation, so no man could interpret scriptures by himself, because scripture rather explains scripture, right? The reason why I bring this out is because, um, you know, sometimes you might, you know, jump to a scripture and you might go, you might go off on that scripture. And just your whole bash and you shine humbling you shine you not here. It's not a time for you to learn and you come come at the exact time. Yeah. And you come to learn that, that 
even if you're not in the spirit, even if you're not in the spirit of always seeking scriptures when you're going through affliction, how about you know, you should always tend to bring the scripture at the perfect time. It has been happening to me over and over, and, and, and only now consciously I, I now realize that that the how about you know, should lead me to scripture every time I go through you know affliction, go through tribulation, stress, whatever you want to call it, right? Go through grief, whatever it is. The how about you know, should always lead you back to this this well of life and this bread of life. Right? It says um verse twenty one for the prophecy came not in all time by the will of man, right? So no man could have could have read them all these things as pertain pertaining to, to this life. And as well as the scriptures as well. And Musa had to use several several authors, so I can several writers and publishers, you know, to put this together. So okay. The holy men of the most high speak as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Right? Um, let's go to uh first Peter. Chapter 1 uh, Yeah, let's read verse 25 It says, But the word of Yahweh endured forever And this is a word Which Which by the gospel is preached unto you Right, so these words are preached unto you So that you can deal with everyday life Once I give you the most scriptures Right, and the most scriptures is the ones that, that comforts you, that, that keeps you, keeps you on par. All right, to have faith, to be charitable, you know, to put on the armor of your halbash and your shy, be patient, to be humble, you know, how to deal with so many scenarios, how to deal with your brother, how to deal with money, and so forth. All right, um, let's go to. Uh, Isaiah turn six and verse six is turn six is turn eight. Yeah, this is uh, Isaiah 34 and verse 16. It says, Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh and read, none of these shall fail. So these words are not failed, sorry. Whatever we go through, you just gotta keep turning back to his word. It says, None shall want her mate, for my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit hath gathered them. Right? None, no other book can compare to this. Right? No, nothing can compare to this book. For my mouth it had commanded, and the spirit had gathered them. See here. Um, give me something out of here. So this is uh, Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be distributed by time and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. Right? The fear of Yahweh oh, oh, is our treasure. And it says, um, wisdom and knowledge shall be distributed by time. That's what Psalm 1 Deuteronomy 4, like Yahweh, Hashem, Yashai. Has given us wisdom and knowledge, and the other nation shall look upon us. So he was wise as his wise and understanding of his people. 
right? This is Psalms 119 verse, verse 9. It says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed unto thy word, right? By taking heed unto how Bashan knows her word. That's how we cleanse our way, that's how we, we mend it. The breaches mend the broken bones, the broken, the broken spirit. Because that's the how Bashan will share the report. The end that the end that has a broken a contrary heart or broken spirit. It's not yak, you know. Like the eye just kicking in him. Um these one in the one theoretic charge has been a while since I read it. And then I'm bring it out to the spirit. It says um, this is Joshua chapter one and verse eight, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do all I'm sorry, may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, thou then you shall overcome, then you shall stand firm. And then thou shalt have good success, right? Um, let's pray, God. God, I mean, it was the last one here. Or it's last two, rather. I'm going to close it off. You can leave my point. But you know, keep, keep, um, oh, there's one in Jeremiah that I like. I want to bring this one out as much as possible. So, okay. So, I always remember it. Revelation tree. It's eighteen. The tree. Let me just run your name real quick. Put it on the queue. says in Jeremiah um, Spirit I have to let it show um, Jeremiah is in Ezekiel um, Revelation chapter 9 and verse, chapter 10 and verse 9. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, It's lucky. Let's do that start from 8. It says, Revelation chapter 10 verse 8. And the voice which I, which I heard from heaven speaking unto me again and said, and said, Go and take the little book which is, which is open in. The hand of the angel was stand at the point of sea upon the earth. And I went, and I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book, and he said unto me, And this is the book still in the Bible, where I take him and eat it, eat it all, and shall make thy baby bitter, and it shall and she shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. The bitterness is talking about the trials and tribulation that you will go through. That your mouth when you receive it is sweet and honey. Right? Um, I, and I took it, 
I took the little book of the angel's hand and ate it up and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I eaten it up, it in my belly was bitter. Alright. Um ah, that's a spirit it's right here. Got it. Why I would why I'm saying. Um this is Jeremiah chapter five. Verse 14 it says, uh, Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore, thus saith Yahweh, power of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and the people, and people would and shall devour them. No, I don't think that's it. It's locked here. Yeah, this is a Jeremiah 15 verse 16. Thy words were, were found, and I did eat them. Thy words was unto me joy and rejoicing of my heart. For I am called by thy name, O ye have of hosts. Yeah, yeah, you see? The Spirit knows what I want to bring that place up, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was on the other side. Yeah. You know, most of the words was unto me joy and rejoicing. Right, your mind is gonna use when you when you use this word to to to, to apply the life. That's why you need to apply it every day, right? So let's get there. So Proverbs. Yeah, this is a uh, Proverbs chapter six, verse one and three. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and the proofs of instruction are the way of life. All right. You know, like I say, this, this, this book. I always say this whole book is a book of commandments. All right. You know, it's lucky if I'm getting up, but you know. You, it's all it's all the instructions of what to do what not to do accounts different accounts of of how men 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 were, were tried by the seeds they sow men were judged by the seeds they sow whether of evil or whether of good all right um, I think there's one more in um, Revelation Let's read this one right here. Revelation chapter two verse seventeen. He that he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh, will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, a white stone pertaining to within the within the our, our Israelite custom. When 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 our, when our judges would judge, the white stone would represent to be acquitted. And the um, black stone would be 
avoid representing this person's guilt or the guilt of the sin by getting to it rather than strong, right? He says, and will give him a stone, a white stone, and any, and any so make him exempt from judgment, and in the stone, a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that receive it, right? As a blessing from the Lord, I shall not shine to be free of David's words. And let's read this next verse. As he that overcometh, and keepeth my words, so and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nation, just like my works. And it's not only me. Yeah. All right. What was I gonna say? Shucks, lucky I forgot. But anyway, this is Luke chapter eleven, verse twenty-eight. But he said, "Ye rather blessed are they that hear the word of Yahweh and keep it." Well, right? they that keep the word, keep the word of Yahweh Hashem Shai. This is Yahweh Shai. Yeah, John chapter fourteen, verse twenty-three. Yahweh Shai. Answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father, <laughs> and my father will love him, and we will come unto him, and make our abode with him. All right. So, we gotta stay deep in this word, all right? And with that, I pray that this lesson will be final. And give all praise to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Kapodash. The honors to the apostles and elders of great and strong, and to fight for twenty men and to be saved. Shalom, Baba Kamakinwe.